Hi everyone, this is Nike Channel Art. Thank you so much for tuning back in with me. This will be a very special, important reading. This will be about uh, the year of 2023 for John John Cook, okay? We're going to see what kind of energies we're getting for him. We're going to start uh, from the first trimester, which is January, February, and March, and then so on and on. And we're going to see. Let's uh, check with the first three months. We're gonna uh, let's see all about the energies. How is he vibing? What is projecting? What is projecting? Let's see anything that we can see for him for January, February, and March. Let's go. All right, we have three cards. All right, we're gonna make a story out of this. Okay, I love making seeing the whole picture and, and yes, and kind of like figuring out what's going on um all right this is revenue definitely this is his people this is his people and the people he works with and they are like yay seeing everything i think these are resources new resources maybe he is actually investing in something uh here i love these two cards because they are all about just uh staying put staying uh standing on your own a lot of conviction a lot of conviction here all right wow he's been working a lot he has been doing a lot of things i am understanding this as producing something so if he's getting is he's coming out with music i am pretty sure it's happening in these three months because this is a lot of work and this is a lot of uh, uh you know being on guard protecting what you have protecting your art protecting your jewelry yes um product and it's like working night, day or night, day or night. He's going for it and like he's nonstop doing what he wants. And this is him working with other people. So they are bringing out, uh, they are coming up with all of the ideas and they're getting it, bringing it all together. Like I, I'm realizing there's two wolves right here. So it's like, yes, there are like two other people, very important people working with him. They are like always uh, having his back and stuff. And yeah, so, oh, what else am I feeling from this? Yes, it's like non-stop, it's like no sleep. It's like he hasn't even had a chance to, to like anything, to even shave or anything because he's been working on his stuff. Now, so let's see if this really comes out um, during this time. We're going to check the other tarot. All right. Let's see for JK, for John Cook. John John Cook for the first three months of 2023. John John Cook for the first three months of 2023. All right. Okay. We have uh, receptivity. We have sharing. I love it. I, I love, I really, really uh, take these words from the Osho Sen Tarot very seriously because I, I know they have, they are there for a reason. Receptivity, sharing. Look, I told you, there's like people working with him and he's like, yes, yes, this is working. This is working. This is a great idea. This is good. This is good. And he's like feeling so receptive about it. I love it because there might be some music coming up on Ferrari because there's a sharing. This is really opening up, loving. And the creator, of course, the creator, because he is really very involved in all of this. Um... Yeah, I love it that we have the three, two, two queens and one king. So there might be a lot of uh, female, a lot of feminine energy in his uh, final product. I think he will love it to have a lot of uh, female singers with him. And this is definitely the energy that he's coming up with. Not the first time. Not the first time I see him as a king of uh, fire, of wands. Let's see. This is very loving. I always get the moon for him because he is very intuitive. You know, he is very intuitive and resourceful. And it's like during the night, he's this person. And during the, the day, he's this person. He shows himself and he, the, the, the way, he, <laughs> the, the energy he emanates, it's like very, very attractive, very attractive uh, for people. And this is how he transforms himself. Okay. So, yes, he's the kind of person who will be always cool about things, but when he needs to, he, wins, he will stand up for himself. So, this is beautiful. Uh, what else are we seeing here? All right, we're going to get three more cards for another tar deck. Let's see what any other message we can get from 
this first string tester for oh John Chuck Cook. Oh my god. Wow, I almost broke <laughs> I almost broke my nail. But yeah, I almost break my nail. I mean, yes. Let's see. We have the nine of cups. We have the six of cups. Oh lovely. Lovely. Look at that family. <gasps> All right. Okay, good. This card will always involve moving moving out from something into something new this might be taking your family and your stuff yes i don't know you guys i don't know but this is definitely a transition there's something good coming for him um wow it's like really and this is reminding me of someone who is protecting his own house actually but the way I am seeing how he's taking his stuff, he's taking his everything, his family, and looking towards something new. And this is moving on to that, like moving away from the, what it was to something like it's like renewing himself completely. Um, for some reason, I'm feeling that he might get, because he's speaking something here, another pet. He might get more pets more animals but definitely he's getting something new this could also get feel be a car like i said a new house a new home but this is definitely movement for him on the first three months let's see this might be also a small reunion with family like i'm feeling like his mother this is this could be his his mom's energy as well so she's very protective okay she's very protective and maybe he gets that from her because i feel that he's very protective as well uh territorial even yes very territorial of him hmm. well i don't know i'm connecting this this person coming down and going towards this place i i do feel there's moving there's definitely some moving here Let's see. Wow. Reaching. Look at this. Look at the coins. Look at the coins and look at the... Oh, look at that. He's grabbing all of those final products. I do feel that something is going on between January and February for him. Let's see. Three more cards for him for the first trimester. All right. And we also have the two of pentacles. Herman, mm. what two of cups? <gasps> Look at that! I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Well, what I'm feeling here, I love it. It's like really, he's like it's starting to like, uh, like I said, he was receptive, but not only that, he's choosing, he's speaking, he's finally coming to terms with what he wants, and he's been carefully deliberating what he is all, what is this all gonna be about. But definitely, I can see uh, being very, being very meticulous about all of this. Here, I see some celebration. I definitely see some reunion. Yes, definitely, I see something good for him with the two cups. Reunion, definitely, to people uh, coming together on March. So this is great news for him. We're gonna see any final message from the angels. For this month's for John John Cook. Alright, we have uh, success within the new next few months. Alright, I love it because um mm, yes. Like I said, this could happen on January, I was saying February, but I'm getting no edges at the bottom of the deck, so it's most likely to happen on February. I feel there's something happening here. I know, I know there's, it's like he's got the final product and Ferrari is like he's coming up with some good music. I, I am feeling it right now. So yeah, this is the messages for him for the first trimester. I'm going to try to be a little bit quicker because I don't want this video to be too long because I have to edit and all that stuff just takes, just takes a lot of time. But yeah, let's go for the next two, three months. All right, we're going to start the reading for John Jungkook's, um, this is uh, April, May, and June for John Jack Cook. April, May, and June. This is our projected projected predictions for John Jack Cook's 2023. Let's see about the 
months. Yes, April, May, and June. Oh, okay. We have the uh, hero fan. We have the lovers. Let's see what other car we get for John Jane Kuhn. For okay. All right, I have two cars, two cars, three cars. Okay, love it. Look how most of these are major arcanas. So this is a really, really key factor during uh, 2022. Because, oh, right. Look at all these this cars. Well, I am not gonna... <laughs> get ahead of myself but it really feels like something good starting with someone because there's a queen right here and there's like these two cards which is all about beginning something good uh there might be a relationship like uh like us yes a serious relationship happening around this time there's a lot of secrecy I am hearing, so I don't think people will know what's going on. I, I, at least not that much about it, maybe the rumors, but no. I don't think much will be exposed because there's a whole company <laughs> behind. There's a lot of people behind all of this. And, and yeah, oh my God, like I was saying, secrecy, secrecy, definitely. You will not know about this. In this, all of these two Oh, oh my god I remember always seeing the sound for him for the person that he was going to meet someone really cheerful someone with a lot of great energy well the two of them are really secretive they know how to keep <laughs> information away from you because they have the power they have the power of course this is also about intuition this is more about you know uh, companies and, and organizations and all that wow I'm seeing at the bottom of the deck look at that look at that the same people this energy is very similar and uh the two of cups and we have <laughs> it's like repeating the story again yes i there might be a lot of romance for him very important great news coming for him during this month uh, april may and uh june let's see with the other tarot decks if we can get any more information about this But I feel like there's a lot of people involved in all of this. It's like, I don't know. I am hearing the word music, so I feel that the, the person that he will meet will be related. Will be have something to do with the world, the music role, the music business. Uh, yes, it's really hard to keep the secret. It's really hard to keep the secret. So some things might be coming out, like they might be out, but yeah. I don't think they will take their time to explain anything. I don't think so. No, 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 no. This is something very valuable. This is something very, yes, of worth for them. So, I love it. It's, it's like, this is cool, cool energy because it just feels very substantial. Um, it's, I, I love how it, there's a lot of, oh my God, earthy vibes. This person might be an uh, earth sign, but there's a lot of earth of her shard but also a lot of leo all right let me fix this this is always moving constantly because yes what i'm also seeing here is a lot of ripping of rewards you know the work uh it has been worth it so it's now like the time to like more focus in he will be more focused on himself or like feeling feeling renewed and like Taking care of himself, maybe making some investments. Uh, this might be the people. I am feeling this is the people and the media. Kind of being a, a little bit bothersome, but whatever. It's just, let's burst the, their bubble. <laughs> I kind of want to burst people's bubble. Sometimes they, are, they create some fantasies in their heads and they really, really... Uh, don't know what they're talking about they just make assumptions about people in general and uh, i mean let's continue let's check with the other tarot that's great news there's a lot of great news happening uh during these months especially in june maybe some vacations uh free time maybe he might be going to like you know open places like uh another city 
that is a, like a little more like calm it's yes he's looking for his comfort he's looking for comfort look at the empress relaxing right there so beautiful oh my god i love it because the empress is always saying talking about new projects and it's like it's about to come in you know, like this is May, so something is happening in May that is really huge for him. And it's about to be, yes, burst. It, it will be, it will burst. It's about to pop up. <laughs> uh, this has global, this is, has a lot of global implications. Yes. Um, I don't know, maybe getting a reward. Literally getting some rewards, like awards awards when i'm saying it's awards because there's he might be nominated for something you know and he's winning he's definitely winning and he's getting a lot of that recognition maybe breaking records i don't know but this feels like very fruitful for him and yes and he might need to travel he might need to travel during those months and maybe specifically in may and to receive that recognition um, sorry guys, <laughs> this keeps moving, so just don't mind it, don't mind it, I'm, I'm fixing it. Alright, we're going to get another more card. Well, we have... Alright, we have a uh, Ten of Cups. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> he might be reuniting with someone, he might be reuniting with someone who he had a project with. And they are like uh, working on something or they are actually receiving some awards around that time because I'm seeing a lot of great recognition for them. And this is a great reunion and they might be even performing together. And this is a global collaboration. This is something with somewhere from uh, uh, yes, another planet. I was going to say another planet with, um, from another uh, city in the world. Oh, yes. And, yeah, and they get along really well. And this is going to be good for them. And they might be working on something new again. So this is what I'm seeing for him. I'm going to go for the next three months. All right, let's take a look about uh, the next three months from John, for John Jack Cook for July, August, and September. July, August, and September. For John Jack Cook, July, August, and September. Oh, wow, we have the devil. We have a three of cups. And we have, uh, yes, the knight of wands. Hmm. I don't know, I'm feeling a lot of rebellious energy here. Because this is the devil. The devil is feeling restricted, unable to move in, in whichever directions you are wishing to move. And probably because you have this uh, group of people who are uh, doing things in a way, in a certain way. But he is a rebel and he always comes up as a rebel. And he will want to do things differently. And I think he is going beyond any restrictions that he's been receiving. And he's during th these three months. I feel that he's having like really nice reunions with people and all the stuff with people that he works with but at the end of the end the day is his decisions to make about whatever projects or the next step uh which step his career would take so yes wow yes for some reason i feel that at the beginning he was afraid afraid of making mistakes afraid of not uh following the norm at times but no uh yes look at that this is like the darkness look at this car this girl and this boy afraid afraid of what's uh, be yes what behold them becomes there's a somber spirit right there but there's the light it's coming out for him it's like being he's opening the window and he is letting himself see and realize what's coming look at that I see him really independent right now because uh, yes there might be some people that he's still working with at the, at, the, at the time but at the same time I feel a lot of individual individual activities individual participations 
and maybe moving around the world and doing things on his own. And yeah, maybe there are some contracts because the devil is also contracts things uh, that he has to respect, that he has to put up with. But at the end of the day, the end of the day, he's like taking a stand again and making his mind up and yeah, deciding for him. Say this is him. These are the people that he works with. And this is him. I am here in working in solitude. So sometimes he's got these great ideas. So he might be coming up with product and music that has nothing to do with the company, you know? That has nothing to do with his contract. But he's doing things on his own and no one will stop him because there's a lot of creativity flowing through him. Yes, and I'm seeing these two cards, which means making up his mind, like I was saying. And also doing as he will. Returning, I'm hearing returning. Maybe he might have already gone to some place uh, in the first trimester and he's returning to that same place. And there's like a lot of, uh, wow, he's going to a party. This is definitely a party. This is a gathering of people. And yeah, there might be some um, celebrations happening, but. This is, uh, yes, like I said, July, August, and September. So there might be some celebrations going on at that time. And he's like, maybe even uh, award shows, presentations. And yes, receiving the glory. But uh, yeah, he might be going on his own. Or he might be going with some people, reuniting with some people. But this is definitely something that he's uh, deciding for himself to do. And he's, this is bringing him a lot of peace of mind yes let's see with my other chart all right oh wow we have the world yes the world and we have the strength it's just again there's another person there's another person like this <laughs> i love it and this is the six of wands and this is the strength and these are interpreted the same because this is a lot of uh, leo energy well, this is a tiger, but this is a lot of Leo energy, which is like returning to, to one's um, self-confidence and glory, receiving the glory. And being able to, to actually open up to all of these accomplishments. Okay? And feeling proud. This is all about free, feeling proud. He's going to feel really, really proud. And he's going to come out of that period of like uh, self-battery. He's going to be more like... Yes, I've done this. I did this. I am happy. I am absolutely a <laughs> privilege. Oh, I love it. The Ten of Cups. Look at all of these people celebrating with him. This might be his fans. This might be his fans, the family, people that really uh, know, dancers, the crew, the people. They're all like, this might be even a concert, okay? This might be a tiny concert. Maybe if there's like a festival, maybe there's like a... Yes, um, like I say, a presentation, an award a show. There might be something happening in, in, in September for him. Lovely, lovely. Ooh, the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups for me really is about receiving something good. So there might be a lot more awards coming for him, like I said. Look at that. This is definitely a lot of awards. <gasps> this is global recognition, you guys. The world in recognition. The world in recognition during those months. Lovely. Let's see for the next three months, for uh, October, November, and December. Let's go. All right. Let's see for October, November, and December, the last trimester for John Jankook from BTS. Let's see what... <laughs> Ooh, coming for him. Ooh. All right. Look at that. Well, this is a love offering, definitely. This is someone that he cares about. This hasn't, this doesn't, it could be his mother because she always comes up. There's a female energy that is like very fiery, very, you know, strong. So this might be a, a, a well, a mother figure, his mom. Let's see, let's see. Well, we're going to check with a lot of tarot decks. Let's see what's in store for him for this. Wow, what's this? The tower, the tower, the tower, and at the bottom of the deck, someone 
Ooh. All right, we're going to check all of this. Well, this is breaking something, breaking news. Oh, wow, wow. I didn't know I was going to say breaking news, but well, yes, it is definitely breaking news, full enough. Uh, but there's something huge, important happening on December, especially, specifically. He might be breaking up with that person that I say he was going to start something with, but we're going to check more uh, about this because this could, could also be something, maybe some information coming out from all of this for the next year. By the end of the year, there might be something coming out for him. Let's see. Again, these two cards were at the bottom of the deck, and this is them. Her, she's got a feisty personality. Oh my god, that, that. this person, you know. And this person appeared uh, during this February because I know they were, I, I, they are still getting to know uh, each other. Uh, in his last reading, I was talking about this person that he was going to meet. I think they might have already met. And I felt that there was going to be some, like, you know, communications and connection. But it wasn't going to happen right away. They were going to be, they weren't going to be in a relationship right away. Especially because they are kind of, like, very uh, secretive. Kind of, like, not that open to relationships to move uh, that fast. So, I feel that that was going to happen. According to this reading, they were getting to... They were going to get to know each other. And maybe in June, around June or May, they were going to be something, you know. Right here, there's something coming up for them. But he's taking care of it. Like, he is, like, very responsible about it. He is still very caring, very protective. That's his, always his energy. Being, oh, at the bottom of the deck. Yes, this is a person. I'm sorry, but I can't lie about this person. This person's always... Uh, Earth and fire, earth and fire for this person, okay? Someone who is very respected, highly respected, has a really nice personality, but very strong, very supportive, and very protective as well. So, in secretive, secretive, she knows how to keep a secret or two. Let's see with the other tarot. Let's see with the other tarot. We get more information about this, maybe something else. All right. All right, we have, ooh, the fool. The fool in love. <laughs> uh, yes. Be, okay. Company. Okay, company. When there's like the, um, yeah, institution. The queen, of, the king of swords coming out of nowhere. And there's, you know, there's like company, institution, organization. <laughs> being involved in all of this. And this is a lot of stress really stressful all of this is happening and it's like there are like people in charge people wanting to take care of it but like yes i don't know but there might be something coming out i mean if it were it's the tower it's the tower all right you know this is him having conversations with this his people and this is kind of like well i guess i guess i have no word no much on this but and it's kind of stressful and i feel with this car it's like he kind of getting tired of it yes i love it because the we have the emperor twice for december and you know what the emperor on the usher center it it's all about uh, someone that's leader he breaks the chains that are holding him down because he knows that the future his future is in his hands and oh my god and no one can say otherwise. Oh my god, I love it. He's got this energy. He's he's a Virgo. I know he's a Virgo, but he's always coming out as a king of all fire, like an Aries. He might have a lot of fire and Aries on his chart. So yes, and we have this queen again. Oh my god. <laughs> um, yes. Look at that. It's a really great energy for coming out from the but uh, you know, there are some rumors some gossip some people wanted to you know making up wanting to make a fuss out of thin air and that's annoying but you know let's see what else will we get for john john cook for this month during this month okay look, look at that his full cap the ace of cups being held by him what else You know, the guy is in love. The guy, yes. 
Jun Jun Cook is in love. And you can stop him, shoot him. And oh wow, All right? I'm seeing the two of cups. Well, yes, it didn't jump out, but it was about to. Yes, right here, the two of cups, the nine of cups, the six of cups is what came out flying. This is all about his decisions. He's taking care and protecting what he's. It's important to him. What it's very valuable to him. Uh, and he will always take care of him. He might be planning a trip for the next year for 2024 or it might be happening actually at the end by the end of 2023 uh let's see this is also something about his house hold um da -da 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 He's always very protective for the people that he cares about. Oh my god, the mess. This is very messy. <laughs> yeah. See if we can get any more cards from this for this. This is October, November, and December. October, November, and December. I don't know. You know what? I I am I am really seeing because at, in the first trimester it was at the second I, I don't remember there was a moving you know and because that was because i feel like he was going to get another house i feel like he's going to have two houses two houses and this new house that he's getting he, he's going to move every now and then i feel that it's quite a far apart from the noise from the city and every time that he feels conflicted he goes visit this house this might even be a little apart, like not exactly in Seoul, maybe someplace else. And he just goes there to get a fresh air. Yes. A breath of fresh air. Oh my God, I'm seeing the tower again at the bottom of the day. All right. Yes, movement. All right. Well, let's, let's see. All right. Yes, like I said, there's going to be some problems uh, regarding his communications with the master. <laughs> With the main of the company, I think this is not the first time I get I got him for uh, John Jan Cook. I think he's constantly in kind of like <laughs> not arguments, not really arguments, but he's like, oh my god, so not uh, in the mood for carrying more conversations with this person, and um, I feel that he's gonna get his peace, a a place for peaceful. Ness. Oh my god, the tower finally came out. It came out. Oh my god, oh my god, is this time apart from the company? This might be it. Time apart, time apart from the company. We have the tower twice on December. And this, well, this is the Queen of Swords, but this deck always shows me like travel and movement, like going. Of course, he's going, moving to. Yes, I love it. He's finding his peace. He's finding his people, and he's moving away from what was like uh, really troubling him. Look, this. He's moving away from his troubles and going back to his home. All right, we are gonna get um, my deck, my spell caster deck. Last message for him, we have the chariot, we have the, um, I'm sorry if oh, this is a little bit messy, but I'm getting a lot of cards. Judgment, oh my god, to major, major arcana. Oh my god, look at this judgment. It's like, this is the main, the main, and this is him being conflicted about taking, taking all of it, or just not doing it. And there's definitely a lot of movement here. He's wanting to be more like spontaneous doing his thing working on his uh from the bottom of his car because his heart chakra is always open he's always like the fool naturally he's like the fool and he wants to move according to his desires but the company is constantly asking something for him and that might be a little bit tired at times so he takes some time apart from himself and that is happening in december uh essentially and potentially and we have these two cars Oh, yes, family, family, family vacations. There might be family vacations for him. Oh, the same card. 
Oh, no, this is the Knight of Wands. Okay, but it's very similar because it's like reunion, your union with your people. Yes, communication. This is like communications, definitely. At the bottom of the deck. Yes, taking care of what is very meaningful to you. The Knight of Wands. And being free, feeling free. I love it. All right, we're going to get the last three cards. Well, the, the cards from the Oracle. This is going to be such a long video, but it doesn't matter. I, yeah. You know, it takes me around an hour because I have to watch it all over again. And English is not my native language, so I have to edit it. But yes. Okay, let's go. I've been getting better. Though. It's been getting a little bit... Uh, it's becoming smoother and smoother, but still. It's a process. All right. We're going to get him some words from the angels or our calls. Let's see what we get for junk. Oh, all right. I um, mean, let's... Shall we take this? Yes, because, well, within the few weeks, we have uh, communicate clearly. Oh, my God. It's, this is all about expressing his desires and success. I feel like he's going to feel successful, not only because of all of the, you know, the recognition and all that, but because his soul, his soul is going to be, uh, like, the main character, his heart, and what he wants to do. So there is something, not the right time. He's like being told that no, no, no. This He's being told no about something on November. And he's like kind of tired of it. And he just kind of gets on his way. I'm sorry for all the mess. I wasn't expecting all that. But this is like a lot of tarot decks. And as to your angels, oh my God, there's something better. I love it. And forgiveness, of course. Compromise. At the end of the day, he's really highly educated and very respectful he's very respectful to his elders and the people he works with he's got a lot of consideration for all of them so this is where i'm going to leave the reading thank you so much for watching this reading for john jen cooks 2023 so i'm going to see you the next time take care um always uh, of course uh well you can now book a private reading with me just go to look at the description but the information in the description down below and find me on munaiki median on instagram Yes, and uh, to set to set a date for you. Also, uh, don't forget to subscribe, to like, and leave a comment down below with your suggestions, anything. And I will appreciate you, all of you. Happy New Year! All may all the beauty and the blessings, all the magic come into your life beautifully and fantastically and effortlessly. So, see you soon. Bye.